legendary German film director Werner Herzog once said that the world reveals itself to those who travel by foot. You know, I found that to be true. More and more true the older I get. And does this mask make my ears look really funny? Like they're sticking out like cauliflower or something? Man, these masks, oh. I was, I was starting the video with this epic quote from a German director, everything was going so cool, and then my ears just had to... Okay, let me try this again. <laughs> the legendary German film director Werner Herzog once said that the world reveals itself to those who travel by foot. And I found that to be true especially when you're traveling in a huge city like Mexico City. You might want to visit a lot of different places that are really far apart. The easy thing to do, or the natural thing to do, is to take an Uber or taxi or some fast mode of transportation from spot A to spot B. Because when you're a traveler and you have a limited amount of time, you want to preserve as much time as possible. But as our friend Werner Herzog has already alluded to, uh, sometimes the most direct way is not the best way. Especially if you're trying to experience new things in a new culture. Sometimes it's when you take it slow that you start to notice things that you might have otherwise missed. Those little details. Those little differences between this new city and where you come from. Which will make the most lasting impression. Man, isn't the city beautiful? You know, some of you will already know this isn't my uh, first walk around the block in Mexico City. But one thing that always impresses me about this place, one thing I'll never get tired of, is if you take it slow and if you look around, you'll always find new things to impress you. Like, look, look at the architecture in this area. This is uh, just next to Roma neighborhood. A lot of tourists, a lot of foreigners like to hang out in La Condesa and Roma. Uh, this is an area called Juarez, which is close to Roma and equally beautiful, I would say. I mean, this place isn't exactly off the beaten path. As you can see, there's a place selling CBD oil and there's a yoga studio across the street. So <laughs> clearly young people know about this neighborhood. But I think I'll stop here for a minute or two and grab a juice. There's a spot I like called Cicatrice Cafe right here in Plaza Washington. Just give me a moment to turn my ears into cauliflower again. drank a juice with ginger and turmeric. A few years ago, I probably would have made fun of someone for ordering that juice. Now here I am starting my day with it. I guess that's what getting older is, you know, people change. And the ways I like to travel have changed too. You see, I think when you first start traveling, you have this instinct to see as much as possible as quickly as possible. Kind of like those people on the, that tour bus, uh, which conveniently just drove by. I didn't plan it, but that was quite convenient. Um, <laughs> but yeah, buses like that, they're literally the prime example of trying to see as much as possible as quickly as possible. And what happens when you take a bus like that is yes, you get to see a lot. When people ask you what you did in Mexico City, you get to say, oh, I saw Roma, I saw Condesa, I saw the center. I went to Polenco, I got up to see all these different places. And if you're a good photographer, maybe you got to snap some cool photos from the bus. But did you actually experience any of those places? Or did you just turn your whole trip into a series of photos? And then when you get home, you'll have the photos, but you won't have any memories, other than how bumpy that seat was on the bus. In a sense, you will have sacrificed your real life enjoyment of that trip for the illusion that you enjoyed it. You sacrificed something real for the photos. 
But if you just spent your entire day walking around, you might have less photos, you might have seen less, but you may have had more impactful moments just because you took it slow and you actually experienced what you experienced. Isn't that right, Zuckerberg? Ah, you don't care. <laughs> I can't believe the Zuckerberg like randomly graffitied on the wall. I wonder what that's about. I bet nobody on the bus noticed that, but when you're walking around filming yourself, you, you tend to you tend to fall into some random random moments. So what's the mistake that most travelers make when they visit somewhere like Mexico City? They try to do too much in too little time. And because of that, they're not left with cool memories of discovering interesting new neighborhoods. They're mostly left with memories of this, being stuck in traffic, trying to navigate their way around this huge city, getting from point A to point B. So listen, if you're planning a first trip to the big city, I'm not telling you not to go do any touristic things. I'm not telling you not to take an Uber if you want to save a bit of time. You don't have to walk everywhere, but give yourself some time just to explore and to live like the locals do. And then you're going to start to feel the pace of the city and you're going to start to see what really makes it special. You know, people ask me what they should do in an area like Roma. It's not about doing anything. It's just about living life a bit and experiencing the magic that's all around you. Hey guys, thanks a lot for making it to the end of the video. Like most of my videos, there are no sponsors on this uh, content. So this is made possible by the generous support of people like those names you see floating by my head. <laughs> if you would also like to see your name floating by my head, uh, here's a couple of ways that you can support. Uh, even for a couple dollars a month, it really, really means a lot. It allows me to keep doing this, my dream job of showing people that the world is not as scary as they think. As always, super grateful for your viewership and I will catch you next time. Peace.